You just notice the check engine light on your dash, but the car doesn't seem to be running any differently than usual. What will you do next? You can stop and check the car if it isn't running properly. On the other hand, even though the car is running perfectly, it can be tempting to continue driving when the check engine light is on. In this video, we cover the top reasons for this condition. We also look at how to fix it. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Intermittent Problem It's possible that there was an issue, but you missed it because it was short-lived. For instance, the check engine light might have come on if the oil pressure suddenly dropped low. It might also be the result of overtaxing the motor while towing. You might not have noticed a slight slip in the transmission, but a code might have been set. You must proceed to our diagnostic steps in order to identify the issue because there are numerous issues that could have developed without your knowledge. Loose or leaking gas cap The gas cap is one of the most frequent causes of the check engine light turning on without any other symptoms. The gas cap is essential to keep contaminants out of the system and to seal the fuel vapors. A code will be set if the gas cap is damaged or missing because the system can't pressurize normally. The fuel tank pressure sensor may also be activated if you fill the tank while the engine is running, leading the computer to believe that the EVAP system is leaking. It is therefore best to stop the engine before opening the gas cap. Dirty or bad MAF sensor Between the air filter and the intake manifold is where the mass airflow sensor is located. Although it causes the computer to make the same adjustments as the oxygen sensors do, it measures the volume of air entering the engine. The computer will make various adjustments to make up for an inaccurate airflow measurement. However, this sensor may malfunction or get dirty, which would result in a false reading and turn on the check engine light. Some engines instead employ a manifold absolute pressure sensor. In either case, these sensors may malfunction and cause issues. Bad oxygen sensor. The emission control system includes the oxygen sensors. These sensors are required to measure the amount of oxygen present in exhaust gas. A signal is sent to the computer telling it to change the fuel to air ratio if the level is low. The check engine light will illuminate if a sensor is malfunctioning and giving the incorrect reading. Sometimes people with bad oxygen sensors don't even experience any symptoms. Depending on how much the air-fuel ratio is changed, it occasionally results in decreased engine performance. Bad spark plugs or ignition coils Spark plugs and ignition coils are both a part of the ignition system. These two components deteriorate with time. However, when problems first start, the check engine light may not let you fully understand what is going on. However, when the ignition coils and spark plugs degrade, there will be significant performance problems. The cylinder with the bad plug or coil frequently misfires. Intake vacuum leaks. If there is a vacuum leak, air that shouldn't be in the engine will be drawn in. These leaks can occasionally be so slight that no symptoms will show. But as the leak worsens, you'll start to experience performance issues. There may be shaking and misfiring as the engine runs lean. Failing catalytic converter. The catalytic converter is required to change the hazardous gases coming from the exhaust into less dangerous substances. However, over time, catalytic converters can deteriorate and clog. When tune-ups are neglected and unburned fuel enters the exhaust, this occurs most frequently. Other than the check engine light, you might not initially experience any symptoms when the catalytic converter fails. Until the problem is fixed, the vehicle might also fail an emissions test. Electrical issue. There are wires running all over your car, including under the hood and in the dashboard. Every sensor and component are linked by these wires. The short will occur if a wire is damaged or if a connection is poor. The check engine light may turn on due to these electrical issues. However, until that component is required, you might not experience any symptoms of the issue. Failing battery or alternator. You need a functional battery to start a car. The alternator is a crucial part of the car that keeps the battery charged while the engine is running. You might notice the check engine light if one of these is malfunctioning. Additionally, it might trigger the battery light to turn on. But if there's a problem with the charging, it won't take long for symptoms to appear, like difficulty starting the car or dimming headlights. How to fix? Since the car is running well, you might be tempted to disregard the issues, but this is not a wise decision. You only invite bigger issues if you ignore the situation. Additionally, if another component of the car should malfunction, you won't know what is wrong because the light is already on. Because of this, we advise using the steps below to identify the issue. Read trouble codes. The system generates a code that informs you of the issue, which is why the check engine light illuminates. Get a compatible scanner and insert it into the OBD2 port, which can be found under the steering wheel to the left or right, to read these trouble codes. You'll receive a generic trouble code for some issues. The P1450 trouble code, for instance, may appear if there is a leak in the EVAP system caused by a potentially loose gas cap. Research trouble code. The trouble code by itself is probably going to mean nothing to you. Even seasoned mechanics only remember a select few of the most typical trouble codes. Any other ones require further investigation. Some of the most popular DTCs have been gathered in one location for your convenience. 
There are lots of trouble code libraries online that contain definition, explanations of the root causes of most issues, and potential solutions. Repair the issue. You can solve the issue once you've identified it. It will be simpler to solve some issues than others. For instance, changing the spark plugs will require a little more work than simply tightening the gas cap. The cost associated with each repair is another factor. Reset codes and test drive. You must use your compatible scanner to reset the codes after the issue has been resolved. The check engine light won't turn off by itself because the codes won't reset. After receding the light, drive your car to make sure it stays off. If it starts up again, there might be another issue that was missed. Hope the information was useful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.